Hi guys, it's Luke here, and today I'm bringing you another quick review of early access title, Fabled Lands. So the Fabled Lands were a set of adventure books that me and Tom played extensively when we were kids. I also played the fighting fantasy novels like Legend of Zagor, Starship Travelers, and some books from the Lone Wolf series that were really, really good. But the difference with the Fabled Lands is that they were set in a persistent RPG world where you could revisit locations and you could also do quests, get equipment and travel around the world, you know, almost constantly and come back and do different things in different places once you completed certain quests. The book handled these with code words, which was an interesting way to do it. So it would know when you had progressed in certain areas. Obviously, the PC version handles that slightly differently. So look, it's a very much a narrative based RPG set in an open world, but doesn't quite play like you know, the modern RPGs of today, it's very faithful to the source material. And I think we'll touch on that in a minute, but when that comes to gameplay, that does bring some advantages, which are fun, but some all, you know, some disadvantages as well, which make the game show that the mechanics might be slightly outdated. However, when it comes to story, the game is excellent. I mean, the standard of the writing is really, really good. The situations you find yourself in are interesting. They're occasionally funny. They're crazy. They're mad. And that all helps to bring together that world building aspect, which is so important in an RPG. You get really immersed in this game because the writing is so good and you just want to get to the next area, find out what's happening, mix with different characters and stuff like that. And I find that really, really interesting. The gameplay has been updated for the computer version. Even though it stays faithful to the books, the combat system has been slightly tweaked and takes you to a combat style game, almost like an XCOM style system. Um, but far more sim simple, really. Um, but overall, it's really, really good, and you know, it, it, it does add to the game. The gameplay is fun. You travel around doing different quests. You have to pass RNG-based skill tests. I know some people think that this is not good and a disadvantage in gameplay, but for me, it stays faithful to the source material. And also, games have been based on RNG and luck since the beginning of time. I think that it's fine in this context. But you really do have to bear in mind that it is trying to be a computerized version of a novel. For example, one area which I noticed as a disadvantage was you can get to some places where you can try and pass a skill test. And if you fail it, you move one step away from the area, move back and try it again. And you may do this 15 times before you pass the test and it gets a little bit monotonous. In the books, you would simply go, OK, I know this is one of those times when this is happening and I'll bypass it myself and just accept the test and, and say I passed and move to the next area. You can't do that here and sometimes that gets a bit frustrating. Visually, I think it's really, really good. The art style is bang on. It looks great. It bounces out with great color to you um, and really jumps off of the page, so to speak. So it brings the world to life. I like the visuals in the combat. It's simple yet effective. And I think that it really comes across with really, really good presentation. And it's something that um, I think the developers should be very proud of. It's, it's a nice adaptation of what was, you know, basically an adventure book. So visually, I think it scores quite highly. Uh, and I think that they've done a great job. Sound wise, the music is nice. Um, the sounds are quite basic at the moment. I think they could improve that area. But overall, it does a decent job for bringing to life a game book. Longevity, I think that you will get bored of some elements of this. You have to repeat the same passages over and over and over again. However, for me, I knew what I was getting myself into. I knew that it was based on a game book and I have gone back and played probably 20 playthroughs already, most of them ending in gruesome death or very quick death. The game can be very difficult at times. And I think that does play into the longevity in that it is really a challenge and you get frustrated and want to walk away. And then half an hour later, I'm thinking about, oh, I'll do this. And I know I now have learned a little bit more about the game and the narrative and how to play the game. It's a puzzle. Essentially, this game is a puzzle. And the more you play, the more you remember um, and you work that out. So I think that it all comes together in quite a good package. But for it, for instance, I would point out things like insta death in some parts of the book can be frustrating, especially if you forget you're playing in Iron Man mode 
and all of a sudden you've pressed the wrong option, you've failed a dice roll and you're dead. Now I think the developer said there's only 36 passages where this can happen in the book, however that is quite a lot, so you can get frustrated. But it does make you go back and want to try again, and the more you learn the better you get at the game. Value wise, you know, I think it's quite good, it's priced at 12 49 it was 10 euros when I got it, um, and I think that that is fairly priced for the game. You wouldn't want to be paying 30 or 40 euros for this, but I do think at the moment it's very well priced for what it is. It's a great little game. In conclusion, I would say definitely pick this up in early access for the price. Give it a go. You may only get a few hours of entertainment out of it and put it down, but I still think that's worth the price. However, for me, I think I'll be playing this long term as the developer adds more of the books to the title. I will be pushing myself to uh, try and complete this. And I hope it's not just for nostalgia reasons, but already I'm having a great time picking up the achievements, playing new runs, and trying to get a little bit further than I did the last time. It's a really, really good game. And, you know, it has flaws and it is outdated. The mechanics are outdated, but I think that's part of the charm. I'm really enjoying it. I'd go out, give this a go, pick it up and enjoy it as much as we have um this is luke once again guys like and subscribe really enjoyed doing these videos and we look forward to your comments and look forward to your views thanks so much for being part of our channel